tutorial video for the Cozy Moments shawl. My name is Carmen and I'm the designer behind New Leaf Designs. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the crochet edging. Now, I've just bound off and I have that last stitch on my knitting needle. I'm going to pull it a little bit larger and put it on my crochet hook. And I'm taking a crochet hook of the same size. So I used a 3.5 millimeter needle. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. And if you used a three millimeter needle, then please also use a three millimeter hook. Um, and I'm putting that stitch on my hook. And the crochet edging looks like this. And you can block it to be really um, wide really long that just depends on how you block it so there are two rows of well how do you say this loops and it kind of creates this scalloped edge and I really like that um, so we do two rows of crocheting so we start on the wrong side row and then the second row is on the right side of your shawl so we end with a right side and crochet and i think that looks really really nice so let's get started with row one so i've just put that stitch on my needle uh, on my hook and then we turn our work so we are looking at the wrong side and then we chain six now and if you've never crocheted before this is a really easy crochet stitch you do a yarn over and then pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop so that's three times we need to do that six times and now we skip three stitches and that includes the stitch at the base of our chain six so that includes this stitch so that's a one two three so we want to crochet into that stitch we crochet a double crochet in there and that's uk terms so that's single crochet in the us terms so we insert under both loops of that stitch then you pull up a loop like this and you yarn over or yarn round hook and pull through all loops like this and then we do this again so we chain six stitches four five six we skip three now, and we have just crocheted into that stitch, so you're not counting that. And I'm also, I'm turning the work so we can see um, the loops on top. So one, two, three, we want to crochet into the fourth stitch. So insert your hook. Pull it tight a little bit at this point. Yarn over, pull through. So you have two loops on your hook right now. Yarn over, pull through all loops. Now we have made two scallops with our chains. If it's looking a little bit wide here, where it's a little bit loose, uh, then I might have um, I might have bound off that last stitch a little bit too loose. I'll just block it to be a little bit wider there. So I don't really mind, but if you mind, you might want to go back. So, and that we just repeat this. So we chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We skip one, two, three and crochet into the next stitch one two three crochet into the next 
under both loops. And we should repeat this until we have only three stitches left. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, crochet into the fourth one. And now I have three stitches left. And then we chain three, one, two, three. So we chain three and then we do a double treble into the next or into the last stitch. And double treble is a UK term and you yarn over and you yarn over twice. In US terms, this would be a treble. So we yarn over twice then into the last stitch you yarn over pull up loop now you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again yarn over pull through two loops and that is your double travel now we turn our work for the second row and we work one DC over the chain three space so we don't chain one we go into this big space here and work a DC so we pull up a loop pull up another loop and go through both loops then crochet six chains six chain stitches and then DC into next chain six space so simply work a double crochet into this space see how that works so chain six and then a double crochet in there or single crochet in US terms there and you complete that until you have worked in the very last scallop as well I don't know off the top of my head how many scallops there are on your shawl but you just want to continue until you have uh, crocheted a double crochet into each of the scallops. There, this is our last one. So double crochet in here. And now I just fasten off. So I pull this loop until the yarn end comes out and then I can weave in this yarn. And that is our crochet edging. So that is our crochet edging for the Cozy Moments shawl. And now you can weave in your ends and you can block your shawl and you can block your shawl quite heavily um, because you want lace to really be stretched out and you can create a really big shawl this way and you can also well you can put pins in all of the scallops but you can also weave a blocking wire through this so it's kind of so imagine this is a blocking wire so you would go through all of the loops and you would block it that way and that way you can stretch out 
all of the loops without having too many pins in there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video and I would love to see pictures of your scalloped edges and of your shawls being blocked because that is just one of the most beautiful things ever. A shawl on the blocking boards and um, yeah, be sure to share those pictures in the Escapees Facebook group and also on Instagram with the hashtag oh, there's Momo with the hashtag Cozy Moments Shawl and hashtag Val Mal. And on Instagram you can also tag me. I'm at newleafdesigns.nl and you can also tag Escapees. So because we'd love to see your shawls. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed knitting your shawl and I hope to see you in one of my other videos. So happy knitting, happy crocheting and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!